my name is Juliette Burton and this is my crowdfunding video for Indiegogo. Uh, that's coming up in a second. I just wanted to have a quick word with you and tell you how passionate I am about this project. This show that I'm putting together, Look At Me, is a docu-comedy all about whether who we appear to be is who we are. I really am excited by the potential that this show has to reach a whole range of people um, and help them kind of uh, feel more better about themselves and better about their appearance to deconstruct the idea of beauty and the value that we place in it um, but also have fun with it and, and find out how to have confidence in who we really are. I'm really passionate about this project and loads of other seem people seem to be uh, passionate about it too and I hope that you too can get passionate about it. Passionate enough just to donate some kind of pledge um, that would help us realise the ambition of this project. I'm so enthused and excited about where it could potentially go but I need your help. Um, I hope that you feel able to support me. <laughs> Hello, my name's Juliette Burton. I am an actress, a writer, performer, woman, thing, person. And I am researching and writing a new show called Look At Me. Now, Look At Me is a docu-comedy. So it's a documentary fused with comedy. Um, and it's going to be performed at the Edinburgh Fringe this August. So today we're doing a photo shoot for the new show. This show questions whether who we appear to be is who we are. And can we change who we are on the inside by changing who we appear to be on the outside. Um, I'm working with amazing charities uh, such as the Muslim Women's Association of Edinburgh, Changing Faces, the Facial Disfigurement Charity, uh, the Eating Disorder Charity Beat. Um, I'm also working with um, uh, the charity Body, B O D Y, um, who work with people with uh, body dysmorphic disorder. Um, and yeah, we're interviewing loads of amazing people with uh, facial disfigurements, um, models, famous sports women, um, women who are a little bit older, um, men with um, scar tissue, thalidomide men as well, and um, physically disabled people. Um, and just people who might appear to look normal but then have some hidden secrets going on inside. In the past I've personally uh, been a size 4 and a size 20 and everything in between. That's all down to the fact that I've struggled with eating disorders throughout my life and body dysmorphic disorders throughout my life. In this show I am going to be changing even more, even more dramatically, thanks to a prosthetic makeup artist who is working with me on this. So I am going to become very very old, I am going to age uh, for a day, I'm going to become a man for a day, I'm going to uh, dress very provocatively, very um, hopefully sexily. I will also uh, be dressing in the hijab, um, I'm also going to uh, revisit my obese self, so I'm going to be uh, wearing prosthetics to make myself look much bigger than I currently am. And finally I am going to be going nude, I will be nude. We are trying to raise as much money as we possibly can to fund all of the research and development for this show and also to raise all the money needed for production costs for the show to put it on at Edinburgh this fringe. We need to raise money for PR costs, for flyers and posters, for marketing distribution, um, for the venue hire, for um, paying flyers and technicians, as well as the actual research costs. And yeah, I'm finding it absolutely fascinating researching this show because for me, I love wearing makeup, I love wearing beautiful clothes, um, but I'm aware that that's a beauty myth. I'm buying into the beauty industry and buying into an idea of femininity. Uh, how much of that is empowerment? How much of that is actually suppressing my potential? I know that we can spread a positive message of body confidence if we just raise enough money to make the show everything it possibly can be. Thank you so much.